Well, I mean, if we keep winning, I guess they can't keep us out, but uh, we're making a pretty strong case. Uh, it's not something we talk about a lot, but, um, um, you know, this is a team that was picked second in our league, so, um, and it's been in the top 20 all year, and we just need to keep playing, and hopefully good things will happen. When's the last time you've been in the top 25, or right? Uh, it was probably maybe 2003, 2004, probably 2004, yeah. So, you know, we're getting votes here and there, and, and you know, people that say you're getting votes, I think, <laughs> so what? Let's, uh, let's be legitimate and uh, keep winning matches, and, and hopefully um, that'll be something where Kansas will show up on the top 25 at some point. For the second straight week, you guys are pushed to five sets on your home floor after being up 2-0. What is it that your team does that's able to get them that fifth set victory after having all the momentum taken from them? Well, they just want it. Um, they want it. The focus is a little bit keener. Uh, the execution is a little bit better. Uh, people step it up. Um, they've had their bad taste in their mouth twice this year with uh, the Arkansas and Notre Dame, and I, I think they get a sense that they don't want, they don't want to feel that way. And, and they've invested a lot, and when you invest a lot, uh, it hurts a little bit more when it doesn't work out. So... Um, you know, as I tell people, they say, hey, you're off to a good start. And I keep telling people this team's different. And um, we're going to continue to prove that. I think this team is different. Yesterday you told me at least seven Jayhawks had to play at their highest level to get the victory. Four of them had at least 13 kills. Five had blocks. Three had at least 15 digs. What do you think about your balance? You know, that's uh, 13, 14, 14, 14. It's pretty amazing. Um, and Tolfrey, they were keen on her quite a bit. We didn't get her as much kills. But, boy, Dockery, a little freshman out there. Double double with 14 kills and 15 digs, and I'm uh, proud of her. But that was good balance um, because, you know, Jarmok's getting a lot of attention now with other people's block, and we were able to distribute the offense pretty well. Yeah, obviously, Iowa State physical team, you said they'd be key. It really looked like Sarah McClinton and Catherine Carmichael were really taking aggressive swings, kind of shouldering that offensive load. Well, if you don't hit it hard, little number uh, six is going to dig it. So, 33 times. So we said, hey, you got to keep swinging, got to keep swinging. You know, sometimes their hands can become an ally for you if you don't hit it too low. And, and we stayed aggressive in the end. And, you know, at 13-9, when it got interesting, Tolfrey took a huge swing for us. She only had five kills, but that might have been the biggest of the match. And what did you think about your defense? Obviously, they were strong on digging, but you guys were as well. I mean, we had 12 blocks, which is okay, 76 digs. That's okay. Um, I think we were good at when we needed to be at the key times. Tolfrey's a Lawrence girl. Has she just steadily gotten better since yeah. she? She's uh, um, worked her way uh, into the program her sophomore year, played a little bit, and has just done a great job, done everything we asked of her. Pre-med, just uh, you can't ask for any better representation than Taylor Tolfrey of your program, that's for sure. What does a win like this do for you guys, beat number 19 in the country in five sets? How big is this? It's really big. I Since I wasn't here last year, I don't know the story from – you know, last year and how they played Iowa State. So this is like a really big thing for us. Uh, talk a little bit about your performance tonight. 14 kills, 15 digs. Uh, you were all over the place offensively and defensively. Um, just been working hard on it. <laughs> all practice, getting ready for all these big um, games and everything since I am a freshman. So I don't really I have to go up to their, the rest of the team's par and, you know, play hard just for the team and everything. After you guys get up 2-0, what did Iowa State do that let them get back into the match? Um, I don't think it was really them. I think it was really us of not executing when we needed to execute. So they kept playing their game. So I guess I guess you can say that. They kept playing their game, but we weren't playing our game um, in that set. What did Cliff tell you before the fifth set? That we need to play our game and dominate, and we know how to play, so we need to just go. <laughs> So when you say you guys played your game in the fifth set as opposed to the third and fourth, what do you mean by that? What were you guys doing on the court? More talking, more intensity, um, knowing where to block, where to dig, um, things like that, because we just kind of lost focus. So more focus and getting ready to dominate. Uh, this is obviously your first, the beginning of Big 12 play for you as a collegian. Um, really uh, physical game out there. Talk a little bit about what you saw in the physicality of the match tonight. Um, the girls are tall. <laughs> I play front row, so I'm just like, I wish I was as tall as you guys sometimes because <laughs> I get up to block and I'm like, okay, please don't hit over me. Please don't hit over me. But um, it's a lot more physical now that we're going deeper, deeper into the Big 12, and I'm just ready to see, you know, the different types of players and things like that. So. <laughs> 
You guys seem to be close to a national ranking. Just how much do you guys, how much, how big would that be for this program if you guys were able to get that? It would be really big. It would be really awesome, too, because we have been working hard. Our goal is to make it to the NCAA tournament, and that's what we plan to do.